Well, we just did for another one of our little bird nesting walks again. It's um, a little bit of wood in it. Uh, we're in a different part of the wood, the day. There's a few birds singing on the day. It's nice and sunny. It's, the sun's come out. Mm -hmm. That helps because it's still early April. I hope this is the start of the spring. Uh, uh, it's about time because we've had a lot of rain and a bit of snow the other week, quite last week. Um, you see the stream doing that, it looks a little bit flooded. But all the woods like swampy, we've had that much this, rain this and snow. This part is. Ah, this part is, we're going to a clearer part. I found a few things in there, these woods in the past, like... Mm -hmm. Like... I've found like blackbird song thrushes and head sparrows, blue tits, grey tits. I've seen a green woodpecker, yeah, in here yeah, one year or now. Uh, from the tree creepers. Aye, we did, aye. Far from here, one year now, didn't we? Aye. <coughs> but we'll have a bit of luck with my Because this time last year, we did find nests with eggs. Determined that we'll find some of the day. Aye, <laughs> definitely. Aye. Yeah. We'll get we'll sell a walk through it. Aye, we're going through. Looks like a bit of a song thrush is over there, I think. It does, aye. Huh? Possibly, why it will be. An owl one, right? Aye. Yeah. Hello. It looks, like, it looks like our fresh mussel, doesn't it? How, that's what I'm saying. How do you know have a towel that's just, just building, really? Alright. Mm -hmm. See if I can get into it. Right. To look where there's no mud, how would you know if that was? How old are just building, really? Yeah, um, uh, you, you would have to. The moss looks quite lively, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Have a look, then. Uh, the moss has actually grown on it, that's probably uh, how so you can tell. So it's definitely an old one. Uh, it's just, uh, when you're looking at it, there's a bit of. Bits of old. Oh, there's a stick sticking through it and all, eh? Old uh, tweet on that in there. Aye. Yeah, it's definitely old. Aye, one. It's, a, it's an old drop flimsy thing, isn't it? Yeah. We've probably got it on one of our older videos. <laughs> but it still looked like a good cup, you know, so it's. Normally the, you still see the mud in them. Yeah. When they're old, you still see the mud, but that's probably like a few year old, it must be a good nest, you know. How it's built, it's in stage, stage and shape. Yeah, we'll keep looking. Aye, we'll, we'll keep trying. I've just put the camera back on there. Um, There's a couple, couple of, of couple of head sparrows. Someone else has just dotted in the I back of that bush now. I think it was a blackbird. We could carry a load of little blue tits and long tail tits. There was a long tail tit up there now, I. But um, you know, it's like where I mean, would uh, where would they be nesting? Where, where would the blue tits nest down here? <laughs> in a hole <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that about because I seen the missile thrush and I was uh, like, where would a missile thrush nest in here? In a tree. <laughs> There's loads of places. But that's a good enough place for the dunnocks, isn't it? It is, aye. Definitely. Blackbirds. Because the blackbird flew around there now and the, <coughs> the little dunnocks have just disappeared in there somewhere. Well, all that bramble there looks obvious, so we'll, we'll have a little look. Well. We've come a bit further in, and we've found another structure. Some sardax sleeping in a bundle <coughs> of sticks again. <laughs> it's like a fire or something. Look at it. I don't know what the plan is with that. Tripod. <laughs> Maybe for a little person. <laughs> Been camping with a kid. <laughs> I got the. They put a bit. I fell into this one. This wasn't here last year. It, we have got it in one of the videos, but it wasn't as big as this and as structural as this. So this has been done over the winter. I don't think or late on last year. Oh no, you'd yeah, think that we'd have it covered in. Oh, I definitely. It's a look into here. I mean, it's not even clear enough to sleep in. You'd think they would have cleaned the loot or something. Everywhere we see the Gandhi, we we'll seem to come across these. Just about every woodland, aye. We're finding a lot of them. Uh, I bet they haven't even, they've built our lot and haven't cleaned through properly to sleep in. we we'll take two minutes to clean that out. And they have. We'll come across one, there'll be somebody lying in it one day. Aye, I know. Aye, we'll just see some, some blanket or something. But it, they've built our it doesn't even look like they've had a fire. Uh, they've had it all planned, but then they've probably just... <coughs> Went home. Wait, they've had a, you can see bits of burnt wood there, like they've scattered it out in the boot. Right. Put the little 
two B things. Right, we'll carry on more. <coughs> right. Well, we'll come back a bit higher up from where we were doing there, but that looks like a. It's. Is it a song thrush on building? Do you it, think? it does look like one because it wasn't there last year. Yeah, we came it's along it's here. It's not really the same. We'll probably have to just check in a week. Ah, uh, we'll come back in a week. Something across here now on the trail now, but it looks like it's. Oh, just in the visa that uh, last thorn, huh? A little bit mindy, so I can't really tell from here, like, but. Yeah, I can't tell from here. Right. But There's another, it looks like a magpies or a pigeons or something going through there. I know. Or even a jeers, it could be. Let's see. Yes. There we will we'll keep a look. Uh, that's. That's going to be on boom. We'll give it a check in a week or so. You can see how the loose moss around it, what it's been trying to put in there. <coughs> right, we'll give it a check. Well, we've just come into a different section of the woods again. It's a lot thicker Valley. in here, isn't it? It's Valley's like brambles and, that, brambles and scrub type thing, you know. Just, we've got more chance of finding something that's what we'll come through here I for. I hate these places, all the brambles. <laughs> Get ripped places, reds. Oh, I'll, yeah. You find all the small birds nesting, yeah. Okay. It's uh, time enough, you can't find the chip chap at this time. Okay. We did find them early April last year. The pond's just at the back of here, aren't you? We'll, Aye. Once we're going oh, through, we'll have a look at the pond and maybe, mm -hmm. maybe something on there. Because if you come here at certain times of year, you just cannot get through it, can you? Yeah. It goes really wild. But at this time of the year, everything's doing a little bit and you can't get through a little bit easier. So we're going we're gonna to wade through. Well, just up here, we've got a chip chop. I cannot quite see it. Like. Just share it. Ah. How can you tell it's a chip chop? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a kind of like chip chop. I uh, know <laughs> uh, uh, there's a, um, what do you call them? The chopping mix, that type, similar type of noise. Uh, but the chip chop, after it does the chip chop noise, it, you hear a couple of little chirps. I keep, I keep trying to remember the song, you know, but <laughs> wait. It's actually going quiet now, but this is the ideal place to find them in. You know, and it's, it was a little bit long that we're in here. That's what I put the camera on for, just in case we see. Because we did find one this time of the year. Was either last year or and the year before? Well, you did find them early, and the, they're here in the area. Oh, you're good. Well, Aye. Yeah, I want so. Aye, so we'll have a look around. I'll put the camera off for now. I think I'll put remember back on that one. Chip chaff guns, chip chaff <laughs> And then a couple of little chips have the woods. Alright. Right, we're just doing it at the pond. Um, Cause last year there was knee frogs in here and there's a you can see a couple of meat in there like you know, I don't know what to do. I just get doing it. When you're scanning the pond though, isn't it? now when we first look you couldn't see them, but once you spot ah, them, when you look once they start moving. There's literally there's, hundreds there's in there. Hundreds, I can see them all over. Well, this will be the time when they'll be mating anyway, isn't it? It's every time of the year, aye, there's a lot of them there, they're all on top of each other, they're, the males are having a good time. <laughs> Came here a few, a few years ago, no? aye. loads of tadpoles, we've seen them as full of the tadpoles. tadpoles eh? But we've never seen them, it's like you said, I'll be doing the mating. That, that frog's still there, I'm going to see if I can get a, a clue or something of it, because it's... I can see a few more either. Just There's a lot of difference in size. I didn't realise there was so much difference in the size of the, the males and the female. Yeah. Because yeah, that that male on the back of it was quite it was quite a different size, wasn't it? Half the a size. A lot smaller. Nearly half the size. But there is loads of them. But you can see that they all together. They must all be like a sage. I see them quite often. Do you do? Yeah, we're crested what's like protected. Common names. Just to see them quite right. often, though, didn't you? Aye. Right. This pond's actually took quite well for these last 20 years because you did get, um, what did you cut the stickleback? No. Because we did, we got a film of the little grebe with a stickleback in its mouth, you know, like killing it and eating it. 
It just shows you know we've seen the frog when we first came. Mm -hmm. And we look, you couldn't see any from one you started there. There's not there's, a space where there isn't one. No, there. there's loads in amongst all that stuff there. Yeah. They're just moving constantly. Which your eye kind of focuses in you. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll turn the camera off and have a whack. We're filming everything but birds. Everything but birds, aye. Birds. Huh? It's a bit cold for the birds, but it is coming into spring, the frogs are <coughs> mating. Yeah, you've still got to fill them uh, up. We've got to keep looking. I'm going to have a whack down there and a whack back up and around. Another bird on the pond. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, we'll have a look anyways. The grief could be doing the bottom end this year. I we'll think I can whack. see something in the middle of the whack, I'm doing the bottom. We'll have a walk. Bro. Ah, we'll have a walk. Right, we've come into a field. It's more like a, there's a load of rushes and stuff like that. Yeah. But there's a there's been like the conservationists. Oh, there's a. What's that? I seen two grown birds. I don't know if they're buzzards. See them flying around up there? Kestrels. Or a sparrowhawk. I think it might be a sparrowhawk. It's it's it was bigger and grey, wasn't it? And it's landed up them trees up there. Stand, you can zoom in for that, you know. Aye. If it doesn't move. There was a pair of them. We'll hang around. Aye, there was a pair, unless it was chasing something. Aye, we'll hang on. But anyways, I'll get back to this pond. Like um, field, it? Aye, the, it's been done deliberately. You can see the way it's been banked up around the edges. There's a little frog there, that'll be a male frog. Well, it must be, aye, the little one. Um, I'll try and zoom in on it, because they're quite well camouflaged, aren't they? They're probably not even on it. Frogs spawn on those. Aye. I can hear horses or something coming along the path. No, I wonder. These look like the type of places where you get newts. I don't know if they've been done deliberately for the newts. I know they're meant to be pretty rare, new, aren't they? Though? Aye. What we've seen before, but. Let's, I'll have a look at this frog spawn. See the clumps of jelly there? Oh, there's little tadpoles in that one. You can see all these little tadpoles out. Oh, right, I just thought to come. So, what was the air newts? What, what's the eggs? What look like eggs? Um, the newts lay them in strings, and the, uh, the frogs lay a lot in clumps. And obviously, they're not be as... Ah, it's not as much as that. Like that. Ah, you just get, like, strings of the spawn, strings of the eggs. <coughs> A lot of empty yeah. egg sacks there. See them all moving up. Oh, they had to. I, I thought the weather would have helped. Oh, there's a board on the top. I thought it was muck. You know, on top of the spawn. Did, did they feed on the spawn? Aye, they eat that jelly stuff. Aye, oh, it's like the egg sack, but there's a, a load of it on there. I'm just hoping this can save properly. Just every now and then you see the little widow. <laughs> Try to get to the side of the sun. There's a lot of them. So I'll stand back up. I was looking for news because it, it's actually a canny clear little pond and you can see brilliantly into it. I'm going to walk around the edge, see if I can see any. It's not really much of a pond to be fair. No, you? it's not. A puddle, really. Mm -hmm. There's not even a lot of small. For the amount of frogs that were in the bigger pond, there was a ton of them. And we've only seen one or two frogs in it. Let's see this one. Right. But it's working, you know, what they've done. Put the ponds in deliberately for them. Because they were empty last year. So no, it's, no, I, we looked in them last year and there was no in them, so... I was thinking there now when we were trying to put that sparrow hawk before. Aye. So we'll try and get the because it was in that far tree, the end one. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot on it. We've done enough on frogs. <laughs> it's only by they perceive the deer from a distance. Right. I think I'm getting her another one of these ponds. I can't see any spawn in this one, like so. I'm getting wet getting this one and wet. That's actually freezing. Oh, gee. Uh, Phillips must have disturbed it, he's just give us a shoot there. I'll turn the camera off and go and do it. 
Like I was saying, there was none in, but there's actually a bit of a clump there. So the cold weather isn't on the frogs, anyways. There could be a lot hiding around the edges in there or in the middle. It's just hard to see. Horses come on. Oh, oh. There's a ton of it just there behind us. I didn't see that, it's coming now. I can see all the empty. getting a hold of it. Right, I'll turn the camera off. Got enough on the frogs, spawn enough on the frogs. We've just come up from this field tab where the little ponds are. It looks like they're trying to turn it's, into some kind of nature reserve. Or it, it does, because like, yeah. they've done a canny job on the ponds. I mean, you can see them doing there. There's a, in the distance and there's one there through the trees. There's another one behind where it was. And there was one, that was the one where we've seen the frogs spawn on that. So we were before. Pool's probably a little bit bigger, isn't it? It is, aye, and it's, it's more hidden. But when these get a bit more established, because I can only remember them like two years ago, we walked across here about three years ago and they weren't here. Last right. year I seen them, you know, so someone's done this deliberately, it's, <clears throat> you know, it's probably a good idea. You're probably getting out with frogs, right? Oh, yeah. Is that big and where we've just been? That's some. Size. Oh, the huge pond at the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you see the odd thing on there, but mm. you'd think there'd be a lot more. Uh, and they've actually cleared all the way around that now, the conservationists. One year oh, we'll get the, the Canada goose. Uh, we've got the Canada goose. There's Greaves' nest on it, and. Right, well, the little Greaves' nest on it. And you see it on it all the time, but you cannot get to them because it's that thick of running. But they have cleared all the way around it this year, haven't they? Like in the, in the autumn. And they're doing something here or now, but this is, looks like it's going to be worth returning to this in the, like in the later spring. Yeah. You've got all the reeds, rushes, brambles. There's a lot of this stuff. Because we haven't had much luck in the nest. Like, so no. It's, it's well into April, but it's it's still like... It's it's a cold wind, cold isn't it? Night. Plus we had the snow just a couple of days ago and it was snowing. It's sunny and that, aye. but still, there's a chill, it feels like winter still really, doesn't it? Oh, definitely, aye. I think there's definitely how many in fact. Uh, we've seen the sparrow hawk flying up into them trees up there when we first came in doing the bottom, but it's you know it's obviously going to be gone by now. Would be nice if we'd seen it a bit closer, but they're just they're very flighty then birds. They're just away before you get anywhere near them. Just a short. That's I know that old nest, but it, it's the best way of seeing them because when they when this is fully grown, you cannot really you cannot see, see them in the full can you? Mm. form. So put it in that old black caps. Black caps or a white throat, throat sort of garden one, but you can't tell. That will build a little grassy nest, did not it? But you can see once this has grown up and it's really thick, how hard right. that'll be to spot. It. We came through here a few times last year. Didn't find that. We looked in here. You can hear them little birds up there. Long tail tits. Making that little cheering noise. Cool. Turn the camera on, they're going quiet. <laughs> but they were making it a few minutes ago. <sighs> Getting ripped. <laughs> Shredded up that. It'd be good if it didn't have this time here so you could spot them in the Yeah, yeah no, that would be brilliant. <laughs> I haven't even seen any black caps in that year. I don't think they've come into the country, but we have heard the, the chip chaff, so they're in. Aye. And they're normally coming together, they'll flock all these little warblers and that, did not they? Blackbird. See, now that sound. <laughs> see, they're doing a lot of conservation work in this end of the woodland as well. You can see all this has been cleared. And it was thick as, like, really thick in here last year. So there's a lot of gorse used to grow in here. So all oh, that's going to come back through. There's a lot of new shoots at the back end there. Doing the bottom, I should have put them on video. Like, But you can see here, they've cut all these bigger trees doing it. And I'm just hoping they're going to clear the rest of it. I've just seen the little long tilt tits at the back of them trees there. All right, so the conservationists have been through here. You didn't have to do any harm or if they're doing any good, really, half the time. 
<coughs> there was a colony of linnets down here about 15, 20 years ago, and I found loads of nests when I came through on my push bike. Pedal through here one year. Because it used to be a lot more open. These, these trees aren't very old. They just haven't been here long. This was all wide open. Right, so I'll turn the video camera off until we find something again. Oh dear. I had, the, I had the camera on it I now. Just, I was white. I've just, just seen the white. Oh, I just seen the blue ship run across. Yeah. What are the fallow? I think that's what. Ah, uh, the fallow because the blue or the red ones. I'm sure it was the fallow. Like, I don't know. Well, I leave the camera on just in case it's because where would it gone? Run there? It'll be aware that. Ah, but where would it gone? You have got the gas plant to run there. It would have to run it'll, back it'll down. Find somewhere when they're like that. You know, that was gone, aren't they? Ah, you're right. Like, I'll leave it on just in case. <laughs> I don't have to have fawns at this time of the year, you know, it's probably got a little fawn hiding. Mittens. Stuff on the side somewhere. Aye. Because it didn't come from very... It just crossed the path down here. I was wondering where it would have went. It'll not go run by the gas plant. Because that's it. You can hear that noise there, the gas plant. Um, and this is where... Uh, it probably is, because it looked like it was going to come up towards us. Came from down there, up here, and then seen us to up there, and sort of done a shoot through there somewhere. We got a plant there, so it wouldn't have went in there. Probably went around the top. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll turn the car off. One, it'll probably run backwards. <laughs> Right, I'll turn the camera off then. Carl the day the day, because... I mean, we've seen some interesting things we've never seen in that now with the demon. With birds and nests and eggs, all like that. It's still a little bit of... It's still a little bit cold. But, you know... Like I said, last, last year, the year before, we found a few... Well, we'll find them at this time of the year, aye. Right. We did find... That was one of our first videos we put on last year, the 5th of April. I think it seems it's just going to be back to our three. Uh, it's the, we keep saying that our videos this year, it is, it is the weather, isn't it? It was snowed again last week. Uh, we just haven't had that couple of weeks of early spring. What we need. <laughs> it's slowing everything we do. Even this bit of woodland, what we're in, is waterlogged in places. Right, so we're Carl of the Day. If we find something. Before we get back to the call, then we'll, we'll put the camera back on and stick it in the end of the video. So, if you're looking at the video and it's still got a minute or two left, then you'll now uh, on something.